Ruhim Habaim Ledikduk Dakot. This video is covering the Hit Pael imperfect. Hit Pael is, thankfully, the easiest verb stem to recognize. It's very rare, and the rarer the stem, the more unique it is, and uh, the less modification it has. And so uh, this stem, I think you'll find to be fairly straightforward. The heat pa'el is in the central position on our chart, um, not for any pride of place, just by accident. It's the intensive reflexive stem. And uh, so here you see the basic vocal pattern and the visual signs. The, the visual signs would be a tav in between the prefix and the first root letter, and a dagish forte in the middle root letter, demeral, same as the pl, which is the case for all the verbs that appear in the intensive column. A uh, vocal pattern, what you're gonna listen for is eat a a, eat a a. The hiric under the prefix, closing the syllable with a shiva under the tav, that yeet or eat beginning is very, very consistent for the heat pile stem throughout all of its different forms. And then you've got uh, patach under the first root letter, tsere under the middle root letter with the dimeral. It's the exact same form in the vav consecutive, vayit palel, vayit palel. Uh, this is a form that you're familiar with perhaps from Jonah when uh, it's the verb to pray and when Jonah prays to God at the beginning of the second chapter of Jonah, Vayit Palel Yonah El Adonai. And um, here it is in the perfect. Again, you see all of this is consistent. The only thing that changes from the perfect to the imperfect is that the He in the beginning is replaced with a prefix. Another example you may remember from Jonah uh, is in chapter 4 when Jonah is uh, out of energy and exhausted and done with life after the kikayon has died, vayit alaf yona. This is to, to be faint. Um, and uh, you see, again, the, the pattern is consistent and the dagish forte in the middle root letter and everything else is pretty straightforward. Eat a a. Uh, in this case, eat a a. Uh, which is uh, sometimes a modification, but it's still pretty clear. And you can see here in the paradigm, um, your tav in between the prefix and the first root letter, identified here in pink, consistent all the way down. Dagish in the middle root letter, consistent all the way down. Don't confuse the dagish in the middle root letter, which is a dagish forte, with the dagish lene in, the pref in some of the prefixes and in the kaf here. Kaf is one of the Begid Kefit letters. And because the shiva under the tav closes the syllable, there is a dagish lene in the kaf. So that is just a sort of an accident of the way, the, the letter that appears there and the way it appears in relation to the shiva. It's not, has nothing to do with the root. The dagish forte is the root sign. That's the visual sign of the heat pa'el, one of them. So, yit katev, tit katev, etc. The heat pa'el is straightforward, and so you want to look for these visual signs, listen for these vocal patterns, and you should be well on your way. Lech le shalom.